Hey there, Aries. Welcome to reading for, uh, this is where you will be one year from now, and we're just gonna jump right in here and see, uh, where you will be one year from now. And you have this cane toad, it says beautiful change on it, and you have this ten of pentacles, are you kidding me? So, uh, it looks good to me, your money is clearly gonna be feeling a lot better about one year from now. And, um, you know, I think all your readings have basically been talking about this. This reading is meant to be timeless, so it doesn't matter when you're watching it, but it is interesting if you're watching this in 2023. Uh, obviously, next year, in 2024, uh, Jupiter will officially be in your second house, which is, uh, you know, should be pretty good for you here, Aries. So, and, and that definitely shows up here with the beautiful change card. Uh, your readings have been very, very good. So, you know, it looks to me like you're making some very positive changes at this time. And you're kind of like, I kind of see you making more adult changes as well. It's kind of weird with this Five of Cups. Normally, I don't, um, you know, obviously, I'm not a big fan of the Five of Cups. But, um, you know, it's like a card of that could represent having regrets. But I'm seeing this more as like you making certain decisions that could make you feel sad, I guess, you know, but maybe not. And, you know, I feel like these are very adult decisions and it's like multiple decisions as well. But clearly I feel that this card here, this beautiful change card is talking about this right here, your 10 of pentacles. You know, 10 of pentacles is really everything you want in, in life. It's It normally forms the tree of life on the traditional 10 of pentacles. And again, it represents like having everything you want and desire to have in life. And really, to me, the Ten of Pentacles is more of like a living, breathing thing. We don't really ever truly get everything that we want, right? We have to work towards it. And I see that here where it's like, at least you're working towards it. And because you're working towards it, I feel like you're being rewarded. You are working towards, you know, building, leaving a legacy. Again, it makes a ton of sense. Jupiter entering into your second. It's going to enter into your second this year in 2023 with uh, Uranus and Taurus as well. So Jupiter will be going into Taurus. Uranus and Taurus has a major focus on building, leaving a legacy, especially for you in your second house, right? Uh, you have the Hermit. I feel like you've overcome a lot at this time. I feel like you've been overcoming a lot of challenges, difficulties, everything. And it's like now you have transformed. I feel like you're you're getting very close to having a breakthrough here as well. That's weird. You know, just like all of a sudden it popped into my head that you're getting very close to having a breakthrough. And I feel who needs, there are certain people, certain Aries out there of you that need to hear this message. It's like, if you've been trying to have a breakthrough or if you, if like things have been the same for a very long time, like if there's been a baseline in your life or in your business and you've been trying to have a breakthrough, I feel like that message is definitely for you. You have the Eight of Swords here. I do feel that a lot of you could be setting yourself free from situations. For some of you, I don't think this is that big of a deal. I think that it's more talking about like, it, maybe you're, you know, moving away from your family, for example, and you've never done that. It's, there's a certain sense of freedom. There could be a little bit of sadness, but, you know, there's still a certain sense of freedom in doing that. Uh, for others, I feel this is saying you have the opportunity to kind of remove limitations, especially for those of you in work or business. I see like generational change here, again, because that 10 of Pentacles can represent kind of like generational energy. And so for some of you, it's like maybe you're the first person in your family to become successful, or maybe you're the first person in your family to like do something that no one else in your family has ever done. Um, you're gonna have to like overcome the mindset, right? Maybe you have a certain, maybe you were raised that money is evil, or maybe you were raised that uh, everyone cheats in love, whatever, you know, it's different for all of us. We all have these, limiting beliefs, I'm sure, right? Nobody's perfect. But I would say that if you can face those things, it looks to me like you're finding a lot of success here. I mean, you have some really good cards. <laughs> uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups. Are you kidding? Uh, literally one of my favorite com combinations, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. Definitely could be meeting a person that you're having a family with as well, is what I would say. I feel like this person, If by the way, if you're looking for love, uh, gender doesn't matter, but I do feel that it could be a King of Swords type person. Someone very straightforward, honest. I I think that's probably the first thing that will stand out to you. Could be someone who's older than you as well. And uh, what I would say is that they're, I would say if they're not, they might not be older than you, they might just be very mature, 
um, you know, they might have a very like, um, you know, very specific vision for life. And it, it looks very mature to me. Could be an air sign. I mean, it could be any sign. You have basically everything here. But I feel like this person is very straightforward. I literally feel they'll just tell you exactly what they want. <laughs> like maybe even on the first date, like exactly what they're looking for. I get this very, like a very cut and dry type of attitude here in a good way. I mean, I think they're like just super straightforward. They And, and that's just it, right? With the hermit, you have the three of wands. Three of wands says, what are you waiting for? It's like, I feel like there are a lot of things that you desire to do in your life. And this card is like saying, does it really matter if you like wait or should you just do it right now? It kind of reminds me like one of my favorite books of all time is The War of Art. And in that book, he talks about resistance and how usually the reasons that we don't want to do something are, or are we, or the like things that we say are the reason we can't do something are exactly the reason why we should do something, you know? So like he, he uses the example, I think of like, maybe you have children and you're like, I want to start a business, but I'll wait until my children are out of college or, you know, go to college or something like that. But like he says, but what if you start that business right now? Maybe, it, maybe you're gonna have to stay up at night and maybe you're going to be tired and things like that. But at the same time, what if it makes you rich? And then it can change your children's life right now. So it's like, you know, that's just one example. There's a million others. So I would say, I kind of get that feeling where it's like some of you, you could skip ahead. It's like, you don't have to wait another, you know, 18 years. You don't have to wait another six years or whatever it is for you uh, to do something. You can do it right now. I would get started. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is like being spoiled for choice and having a lot of options. And, you know, I kind of feel like you are spoiled for choice and love right now. Yes, this reading is for one year from now, but what I would say is I feel you have a lot of options kind of like going on in your life, just in general, like in all areas <laughs> of life. Uh, next, you have this higher view card in your next row. Uh, you also have the hangman. The hangman can represent a change in perspective. The higher view, obviously you're getting a bird's eye view of things that are going on in your life. This makes a lot of sense to me. We have uh, Pluto going into Aquarius. I talk about this all the time and people keep saying like, why do you talk about Pluto and Aquarius so much? I'm like, uh, because next time you'll be dead. The next time Pluto comes back to Aquarius. The next time that, um, you know, we have the exact astrological setup that we have right now, you will definitely be dead. So <laughs> it's like, we will never experience anything like this. And it is like a significant change. It, it's, you know, I, I think people don't understand, like put on Aquarius, by the time we get to end, I'm telling you all, and no, no cap, no clickbait, right? I promise you, your mind will be blown by the end of Pluto on Aquarius 20 years from now, because you know, there will just be a lot of crazy changes. But like one of those things is going to be that I think a lot of people, including you clearly, Aries, are going to be gaining some like perspective on things. Like maybe you're realizing like, I don't want to wait to start my business. I, you know, I could get hit by a bus tomorrow. I feel like some of you could be having some like um, mindset changes that are, is actually going to lead to more success. You have the hangman, the king of swords and the fool. For whatever reason, I feel like this is uh, love coming into your life here. I feel like it'll make you extremely happy. This person's like very serious, uh, I feel. So I feel like you could be attracting a serious person. But the good news is you have the sun right here where there's two people on this sun card in the after tarot. So I feel like they might be serious, but I feel like they're very playful as well. It's like they're not too serious. And look, I love this two of wands as well. It's like two people who are kind of like conquering the world. So if you're attracting a person, definitely could be a good person for you. I also do feel that this could be, um, it's kind of weird because it's like I see a statue <laughs> in my head. It's almost like you're looking up to something here. I'm getting like a couple of things here. Number one, you could be like discovering some information from like a mentor or, you know, it could be like a book that you read or something like that. And it's almost like you find a like a person who you look up to. And I feel like they provide a lot of answers in your life. I don't know why it's popping to my head like this, but it could be like a book. It could be, it could be anything. It could just be like a famous person or whatever, but it's like, you're just discovering them, which is weird. Um, but that's what's popping into my head. Um, so again, you could be discovering like a new person to follow who kind of just you resonate with, which again, it could be like one of those life-changing, um, you know, things. There are tons of people that changed my life completely that are dead. So it could even be a dead person, but right, you never know. You might read a book and it changes your life or you discover a new person and it changes your life. I feel that 
for some of you. For others, I literally feel it's a person who's coming into your life, but it could be like a business partner. Um, you know, it kind of has a businessy type of feel to me where you could be kind of like teaming up with a person. I feel like they provide a lot of insight, a lot of answers, and it's almost like they help you kind of like skip ahead. I hope that makes sense. You have the fool here, definitely a new beginning for a lot of you. Uh, if you are attracting love, this person's like a like completely different. You know, it's like, I see this right here, fool. Uh, two wands to the temperance card. This person brings peace into your life is kind of what I feel. I feel like this person is just way different than anything else. You know, temperance can represent being patient. So I feel like you've been patient to find a person like this, like this here. Um, but you know, it's like, you you know, he normally the temperance guy is mixing those cups together. It's like you've had to wait a long time or it's been a long time for you to, you know, find this situation. You also have the hangman here. And again, I really just feel this is talking about perspective, um, like the perspective that you're gaining um, by looking at things from like a bird's eye view. I also feel this king of swords person could be uh, providing you with a perspective. It's like, I, I don't really have any good examples, but it's like, there are some people who have like, where they've said things to me, or I've seen YouTube videos where they said things where I'm like, holy crap, like, Wow, that was a that was a mind blower, right? <laughs> and so for some of you, it's like you could be discovering a person, and I don't know why this is so important, but it, again, it could be life changing. Uh, that could be why. And I feel like they say something to you, or again, maybe you read it in their book or whatever. That's that kind of just like opens you know Pandora's box, so to speak. And um, it's really important. I would pay attention for this. If there are any areas of your life that you want to improve as well, I would start looking for books to read on the topic or YouTube videos to watch on the topic, whatever, right? It, like, like I always tell people, don't wait for these things to happen. You know, tarot is just energy that you have to take advantage of. Nothing is going to happen if you don't put in the work. So, you know, I'd say start looking, right? With the hangman, you have the ace of cups. Clearly there's love coming in for you. Could be a Pisces or a Virgo. You have Pisces and Virgo. I, this happens to me a lot where opposite signs will show up in a reading. And so it doesn't surprise me. It could also be a Leo or an Aquarius as well. I'm getting here in this reading. So take it how it resonates, but definitely could be true love coming in for you. Uh, with the King of Swords, you have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, someone has to communicate here. I, I, mm, it's like I feel like there's some sort of communication thing going on here. <laughs> Either someone has to communicate to the other person or, I don't know, someone has to reach out here. I'm not sure if it's you or them. But again, for some of you, uh, I feel like you might already know who this person is. For others, this will be happening in the future. I'm pretty sure I said to you recently, it's almost like, I wonder if you work with a person or this could be like a boss, right? It's like, obviously, if you have a boss, you know, who could be like a mentor, that could be like a little bit of a weird situation. If it is a boss, I will say that I do think something is gonna happen. Like maybe they quit or maybe you quit and that kind of like opens things up here. Uh, for others, I just think there needs to be communication with the Page of Pentacles. With the Fool, you have the Two of Wands. Yeah, you have the Two of Wands twice. The thing with the Two of Wands, is it kind of represents taking the lead. So clearly someone is gonna have to take the lead in this situation. For others, I kind of feel like this is encouraging you to leave a comfort zone. The comfort zone that you're leaving is right here. It's actually this Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords I see as like some sort of mindset. You know, there's some sort of mind, there's like a lot of big mindset shifts going on in your reading here, Aries, where maybe you're realizing you don't have to believe certain things anymore and it like opens up a whole new world is kind of what I'm getting. Or maybe you're realizing the things that have been holding you back mentally. And because of that, you're like moving forward. Uh, next, you have this turtle spirit. It says slow and steady wins the race. I hate that. So <laughs> I do not like slow and steady wins the race. But what I would say is I feel like you've been very patient. And the other good thing here is, is that I feel like you are at the finish line. It's not like you, um, you know, it's not like you're waiting here. I feel like this is saying that this is where you currently are. You have the page of wands. You went on the adventure. You have the two wands and the sun. The sun, obviously, could represent some sort of big reward or something very happy entering into your life. I see just so much happiness like one year from now. It's not even like you're waiting. I think you're gonna, it's like these things, I always like to remind people, it's like, yeah, this reading is meant to be one year from now, um, but really it's like this is energy builds. It's like you're building this up over the year. So there's like a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you with the sun card. You do have the two of wands. Again, I literally feel if there's a person coming in for you that the two of you will be probably like conquering the world or you're doing something together in the world or the two of you together complement each other like in the world and it has some sort of benefit. I would encourage you to leave a comfort zone here. Um, two of wands is my card of needing to leave a comfort zone. Normally on a traditional two of wands, his village is right here in the bottom corner. And the story of the two of wands is that he rushed to a finish line. He's standing at the top of a castle 
and he is holding that world in his hands, but he's looking in front of him and he thinks that there's nothing more for him to experience, but he has the whole world in his hands. It's like, there's so much more that he could experience in the world, but he has to get out into the world first <laughs> to be able to experience it. So I do kind of feel this is like saying, don't be afraid to explore. Don't be afraid to get out into the world or leave comfort zones or, you know, try things you've never tried before. And, you know, variety is the spice of life. So I'm kind of getting that there. And especially if you're meeting a person, it's like they might want to be more adventurous, but maybe you want to stay home. Trust me, I'm a Pisces. I get it. I never want to leave home. If people always ask me to go out, I'm always like, I'm, you know, I'll be sitting there watching Netflix and I'll be like, I, I, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not busy, right? That's the secret. But, you know, trust me, I want to stay home. But lately, for the past few years, I've been going out, doing things, and it's opened up my world. So I feel like this is saying, open up your world. You have the uh, Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a card that says, go on the adventure. Yes, go on the adventure. Your friends call you to go out, go out. You never know. You might find meet the love of your life. You might uh, meet a person you start a business with. You, you never know. Crazy things happen to crazy people. And by crazy, I mean you have to go out into the world and experience the craziness in the first place, right? Uh, with the uh, Page of Wands, you have the Two of Swords, leave a comfort zone. Normally, she is sitting... You know, the lady on the Two of Swords is sitting where she has always been. She needs to go experience something new. There's a new island behind her. And just like the hermit, the hermit has climbed to the top of a mountain. The island behind her represents an obstacle, but it's not a bad obstacle. It's an obstacle she, because she's never experienced it before. So it could be like a good thing that is like a new hobby or an interest, but she has to go learn it first. With the two of wands, you have the lovers. Yes, yes, yes. We already know. Boring, right? We already know this love story that's going on here. It's actually very romantic is what I would say to you here, Aries. And definitely like a compliment to you. I feel like this is a really good person, whoever it is. Uh, with the sun, you have the ace of swords. Victory, for sure. There needs to be communication. Like, see this right here? His sword is like in the ground on the king of swords. And then you have the sword right here with the page of pentacles. It's like someone has to open up if this is a love situation. And again, for some of you, I feel like this is in the future. So you might not know this person yet. For those of you that do, could be a Gemini or a person who has Gemini in their chart as well. It's like there needs to be more, more, because nothing is happening right now as far as I'm concerned. Looking at this, it looks very slow. Let's put it that way. Uh, next, you have this Be Proud of Yourself card. So again, more about perspective, right? You have that higher view card and the hangman all about perspective. Sometimes, and especially right now, I feel like maybe you feel that you're not accomplishing enough or maybe you feel that you're not where you should be in life or whatever. Number one, don't beat yourself up. Number two, I, I think if you kind of look back like 10 years, your life is significantly better, right? So sometimes I think that just being proud of yourself and saying like, actually, I have done a lot. I am doing a lot right now. And kind of like patting yourself on the back for the little things, then, you know, I think you'll maybe motivate yourself more and find more success. But I also feel there's going to be a lot for you to be proud of in the future. You have this temperance card, and again, what you, like kind of like the it, situations that you have to um, that you're getting into. I think there's no like having to make things right. I don't know; those those aren't even the right words that I'm getting right now. Um, but what I would say is, I get this feeling like you know, sometimes I think we get into relationships and we start doing things to kind of like please the other person without them even asking. But but as in like we try to you know, transform ourselves to be what we think that person would like because we don't want them to leave us. And I feel like this is saying, no, I, like I feel like you're finding a person where you truly can just be who you are. That's it. That's all that is required here in this situation. So like I would say, don't try to change. You have the uh, five of cups. Again, I get something weird on this five of cups. And I feel for a lot of you, there is like you know, this could be you making changes. I do feel like you're making changes in your life. I do feel there could be people maybe who don't like the changes you're making, but mostly because it's pointing out their flaws. You know, a lot of the times I think when people start hating on us is, or it might not even be hate. Like sometimes it's family members that tell us not to take risks in business, for example. It's only because they wouldn't take those risks, but maybe you would, and maybe you become very successful because you took those risks, but just because they wouldn't doesn't mean that you shouldn't. So I feel like this is kind of like saying, some of you, I don't think you have to cut these people out, but maybe you just have to limit your exposure. You have the Knight of Wands here. Uh, I feel like you're feeling bold, confident, uh, just feeling really good. I kind of feel like that's your energy and I feel very motivated as well with that Knight of Wands. Like you're, you know, he, he normally just has these um, pyramids in the background. Normally the Sphinx isn't on a traditional Knight of Wands, but 
you know, the pyramids represent mystery. And it represents the fact that he's willing to go explore a mystery. He's willing to go figure out how something is done. He's like my true builder in the tarot as well. He doesn't care how he has to do something that he wants to create in his life. He just goes and does it, right? And I, I feel like a lot of you are gaining that type of confidence where it's like you don't care how you have to do something. You're just going to do it. With the temperance card, you have the six of wands, victory coming in for you, a lot of success. Uh, I feel like some of you could either you get a lot of attention or you're attracting a person with a lot of who gets a lot of attention, but it's like the two of you together are going to get a lot of attention. Let's put it that way. With the uh, five of cups, you have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, you know, I, I think you see it's like kind of like one of those things where, you know, I think you just are more uh, paying attention to big opportunities that are coming your way with that five of cups. There might be people who try to distract you, but at the same time, I kind of feel like you're putting yourself first, you know, and that's exactly what I would be doing here. Aries, uh, very powerful. With the um, Nine of Wands, of course, you have the tower. Every single person, uh, every single sign has had the tower. I kid you not, whether it's in this deck or the other deck that I use, the main deck. Um, so again, I think that we are going to see a lot of weird stuff. Mark my words, come back one year from now and tell me all about all the weird stuff that happened because I guarantee you, you know, you ain't seen nothing yet. As I've said to everyone, there's going to be some weird stuff that happens all throughout Pluto and Aquarius for the next 20 years. But definitely this year, already a bunch of weird stuff has happened. If you, you know, don't watch the news, but if you pay attention, right, <laughs> there's been a lot of weird stuff and it's going to get weirder. So, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of global tower moments. Uh, we're going to pull, uh, see what else wants to come up. Basically, five more things. You have this charity card. I do feel like the universe is being generous or you feel, maybe you feel like the universe is being generous to you at this time, like just allowing things to work or maybe it's not such a struggle to get the things that you want to work to work in your life. And I definitely feel that. Uh, next, you have this protection card. I feel like your ideas are protected. I also kind of feel like there's a divinely guided connection coming in for you. For those of you that want it, it looks to me like there is uh, kind of like a divinely guided connection. I also get something about prison here, which is weird. And you have the Eight of Swords in this protection card. I might have to come back to that. But I get something about prison or something or someone in prison. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. <laughs> uh, next, you have this innovation card. You know, this innovation card is definitely like Pluto and Aquarius. This is actually Jupiter and Aquarius, this card, but we have Pluto going into Aquarius and I've been saying it the whole entire time that if you are not, if you're not coming up with new ways, new ideas, new inventions, new things to do in life, then you're crazy because that's where all the benefits are is creating something new, innovating. Uh, you have this companionship card. So there's definitely love coming in for you. I just dropped the card as well. And um, so this card, I didn't pick this card. It kind of just fell off that the deck. It's this manipulation card. Um, it's a card of, this is a card of manipulating energy. It's a card of using like your powers of manifestation. But I do wonder, there's something about jail because of manipulation or something like that. Could be a person you're dealing with. I'm wondering if this is someone you're leaving behind. I don't know. It pops into my head. Take it how it resonates. They, you know, it could have been like a scammer, someone who runs scams or something like that um, is what I'm getting here. Uh, it could be a Scorpio. It could be like a water sign if you have dealt with a water sign in the past here, Aries. Um, something about scamming or something like that. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Um, again, you have this companionship card, so there's definitely like a companion coming in for you, I would say. Uh, and finally, you have this defense card. See, I am telling you right now, I would protect yourself from this person. Like if you have a person who like, you know, I would be careful. I, obviously, there's nothing you can do always, but you know, there might be a person. I would just be careful. If you feel like you have dealt with a person who's a scammer, um, uh, who runs scams or does shady stuff, I would blo either block this person from your life or I would protect them. I don't think anything will happen, but I, I just get this feeling of being dragged into something that w will it affect you in any way? I would say no, but it'll probably be a major inconvenience. So I would be careful of anyone who's trouble in your life. It might not even involve jail. Like maybe they're going to jail, but it might not involve them even going to jail. Again, if you have a person who's shady, I would just be super careful with this energy. I would avoid them at all costs. And again, I feel like if that, this is not for all of you for sure. And if it is for you, you know who this person is. So there you go. But this looks good. Love it. Definitely a beautiful change coming for you. Uh, but thank you and definitely enjoy your year.